Hi, my name is Justin Dranchak and I'm the North American Manager for Molecular Devices Biopharma Platforms. During this video, we will review Molecular Devices solutions for immunogen discovery and vaccine development. Vaccine development workflows can vary widely depending upon the platform chosen, such as using inactivated virus versus a DNA vaccine. Each has its own advantages and can be done in tandem in order to increase the likelihood of success against the infectious agent. Here, we highlight a general workflow for vaccine development using recombinant proteins as the immunogen and the reference to systems to aid in your research. In this workflow, we begin by screening for binding to a virus-specific antibody. This can be done using phage display, which is a powerful in vitro method that can be used to screen millions of antibodies against viral antigens, which are then considered as potential vaccine candidates. Molecular devices high throughput Aquamax plate washers can be used in the panning step of the phage display process. The next step in the process involves immunogen characterization. Immunogenicity studies are conducted to determine whether the antigens identified in the previous step will initiate an immune response. Since phage display only screens for antigen antibody binding, if the antigen evokes an immune response, often measured by an ELISA, the antigen, now considered an immunogen, will move forward in the process. Additional immunogen characterization is used to engineer desirable properties into the immunogen in the next stage. This process can be completed on molecular devices best-in-class Spectrumax I-Series multi-mode plate readers, powered by SoftMax Pro GXP software. The next step in the process involves protein engineering. Some properties of immunogens are known to cause undesirable effects when injected into animals or humans. Therefore, genetic engineering tools such as CRISPR-Cas9 are used to manipulate the DNA encoding the immunogen so that they no longer possess those properties. However, the low cost and simplicity of cultivating bacteria is an unbeatable advantage over any other expression system, and therefore, E. coli is always preferable choice, both on a lab scale and in industry. Molecular Devices QPIX platforms provide a fully automated system, allowing you to combine multiple steps into one, from plating and streaking of your transformants through screening and picking of over 30,000 colonies per day with complete library sample management. The QPIX increases efficiency and productivity while reducing cost and timelines. Once the DNA has been optimized, it is necessary to scale up the production of the immunogen for further testing. At this stage, it is critical to generate a high-expressing, clonally-derived cell line. This process often involves genetic engineering techniques described above, along with single-cell cloning in micro-well plates, particularly if using mammalian cell lines. Molecular Devices Clone Select Single Cell Printer is a fully automated system that utilizes proprietary microfluidic space technology and in real time imaging analysis to sort and deposit single cells into standard microplates, while simultaneously providing assurance of monoclonality through imaging documentation. Following single cell cloning, cell lines are monitored for growth and assessed for protein expression. The immunogen is then purified and prepared for injection into an animal in order to induce an immune response. Antibodies generated from the animal are then screened in a virus neutralization assay to determine vaccine efficiency. This can be performed using Molecular Devices Image Express PICO platforms, which allow for high throughput imaging and analysis of the antibody's ability to inhibit viral entry or infection into cells grown in culture. As global research efforts accelerate to stop the spread of SARS-CoV-2, Molecular Devices is committed to supporting scientists that are researching COVID-19 cellular response and vaccine development. If you would like any more information about how Molecular Devices platforms can be added to your workflow, or if you would like to speak to a local representative, please visit MoleculaDevices.com. Thank you.